All right, guys, welcome back. So we have a 2013 Honda Accord EX35. Good engine. This vehicle is an oil change at 136,852. 136,852. We have 137,527. 137,527. So we are about a thousand miles past 3,000 miles. So they're in the 4,000 mile range. And he's here for oil change and tire rotation also. That's good, good for him. But this here, so get something clear and pump our oil into this. Because I believe he's not using our full synthetic. And this is a good gauge. I would have preferred him back at 3,000 miles, but you know, he's close. And, and sometimes close isn't good enough when you're talking about oil consumption and blowing up your engine. All right, so we're gonna pull the dipstick out. All right, and we're gonna say the oil is good. Now this drains through the valve cover, so you're gonna see some of it run down. So we're gonna prop you up a little bit here. And I, and I hate these designs because if you're not an experienced oil change person, with the customer checking the oil, they may or may not know Somebody was like, oh, can you just put it against something white? Well, I don't have anything white in a shop that we do dirty work in. How about that? So the oil is full, and in my opinion, it's fairly clean. But we're going to compare the color of this to what our oil looks like, right? So if you take a look at what it is, it's pretty close in the spectrum. So this tells me this engine's fairly clean. Uh, this is an Earth Dreams engine, and I don't believe it's GDI. What's happening? We're making a video. Don't worry. Same old. Yeah, so this is a non-GDI engine. Probably one of the best engines Honda's made in, in its V6, and even earlier. It's a three, it's J series. Three has, or three five. Has VVTs. 136,000 miles should be nothing for any car today if you take care of it. Yeah, so we have some here. deposits in the oil cap. Um, but 136,000 miles probably never been cleaned out. Um, I'm gonna say this is pretty good. So I would say I wouldn't really push this oil much more than 5,000 miles. Considering considering what we're seeing it. right now, right? And every diff every engine's different that we do here. It's not burning it. It's not cooking it on the oil stick, right? So that tells me they're 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 following what we're saying. So now we're saying this engine oil that we use here for this vehicle. Our bulk five synthetic blend 520. So I don't know if they're using full synthetic or not. I'm gonna tell you they're probably not. Mm -hmm. I think they're just using our synthetic blend in this. But the color is very close in the spectrum. So this engine is happy at 4,000 miles and full, right? Mm -hmm. So which tells me you can probably go 5,000 miles, nor would I because you're in the perfect area of the oil still being able to remove contaminants that are going on inside the engine because it's not black right it's clean yeah. so you can't just say oh it's good it's good oh it, you know i sent it out and had to test it and it's black your filter can't <laughs> your filter can't do its job and the oil can only hold so much uh contaminants before it's it's horrible and that's why your engine oil turns black or brown or whatever colors in the spectrum there but it shouldn't be but this is a good thing. So you actually, you know, you have to get a gauge on what's going on. You can't just say, eh, I'm going to drive it eight, 10,000 miles. That's way overdue. We've proven that thousands of times. So this engine doesn't have oil consumption around 4,000 miles with our 520 synthetic blend bulk oil. The color spectrum that we pull out here is very similar to what's in here. So I'm going to say, if this customer had to push it, he could. Do I advise them pushing it? Absolutely not. Look at that. So you have to test. And if you don't test, you're just asking for a big bill for engine replacement and engine repairs. Thanks for watching.